Welcome to the video tutorials of Mekanis Muller. Reciprocation motion mechanisms play important role in many devices and machines we use. One well-known and fundamental reciprocation motion mechanism is Withworth's quick return mechanism. This mechanism is very important, because we have the ability to adjust stroke of the reciprocation motion. It has also faster speed in one direction than the other. This makes Withworth's quick return mechanism one of the fundamental reciprocation devices. However most of the time we do not need adjustment in the stroke, and we want same duration of reciprocation in both directions. For example the pistons in an engine reciprocate, but its stroke never changes, and duration of the reciprocation is the same in both directions. In these cases other factor plays important role. Such as, is the device simpler? Is the transition speed from forward stroke to backward stroke smoother? There are countless solutions to these problems, and each has some advantages in unique application they are used, but weakness in the others. Here is an ingenious reciprocation mechanism which allows smooth transition of motion from one direction to the other. We call this mechanism, short stroke reciprocating mechanism. This is because it belongs to a family of reciprocation mechanisms where it has the shortest stroke in that family. It can be modified such that you can have any length of stroke you desire. This is unique characteristic of this family of mechanisms, even though it is not a simple mechanism to build. As you can see, we have two similar yellow internal and red external gears. One of the red external gears connected to a motor and it is the driver gear. The other gear is free to rotate, and it is not powered. Notice that the yellow block holding the external gears has grooves on both ends. The reciprocating shaft has two cams sliding in these grooves when yellow block is moving up and down, during the reciprocation motions. Also, a shaft passing through the yellow block joins these two sliding cams. Therefore, the reciprocating shaft consists of three parts. Two round shaft at both ends, two cams attached these shafts, which joined by a rectangular cross-sectioned shaft sewn in here. Two black pins shown in here alternately enter a groove located at the middle of the yellow gear block. This prevents the yellow gear block sliding downward during the reciprocation motion. Thank you for watching our videos.